meters per second. That's about a little more than 20 miles an hour. It leaves my hand at 10 meters per second going straight up. There are people who can calculate how long it'll be in the air. There are people that can calculate how high it will go. And then there are people that can't calculate these things. Some of those people that can calculate these things are sitting right here today. Let me ask you guys a question. How long is it going to take to get to the tippity top if it leaves my hand at 10 meters per second? Reasoning goes like this. When I drop it, it's going to gain speed 10 meters per second every second, right? Well, just take a little savvy here now. If it gains going down, what do you suppose it does going up? I'm saying, oh, it's still gain. Keep going faster and faster. Come on, come on. <laughs> you guys know it's going to slow down. And what's the rate of slowdown? 10 meters per second every second. But you threw it at 10. And you know it's finally going to go stop to zero, yeah? So how long a time is it going to take for that to happen? Begin with a W. One. one. Okay. <laughs> now, if it takes one to get up, how long to get back down? One. So what's the total time? Begin with a t t <laughs> two. So it's going to be two seconds. One second up and one second down. Ain't that neat? Huh? How fast is it going to hit? If you throw it here at 10, how fast do you catch it? 10. Because what slowed it down going up? Speeds it up coming down. And what's the rate of change of motion? 10 meters per second every second. You didn't need? Now, if you're onto that, you can do this one. Let's suppose I threw a baseball up in here and I threw it at 30 meters per second. 30. That's fast. 30 meters per second. How long is it going to be going up? Well, how many tens do you got in 30, honey? You got three of them, right? Do you get the idea? Every second goes by, it's going to lose 10. So you get 10, 10, 10. Three seconds to get to the top. How many seconds to get back down? What's the total time? Six. How fast is it going to hit? 30. See? The speed it lose going up, the speed it gain coming down. Oh, is that neat? You have to throw it straight up. Now, here's the question for you. When I throw it up at 30 meters per second. Right at the tippity top, right at that split second. What's its acceleration? Think about that. OK, next time, physics. And hey, hey, wait a minute. I want you to think about something else, too. Air resistance. I'm going to take a piece of paper and drop it with this book, OK? I drop the book and the paper. Which going to hit the ground first? Which going to have the greater acceleration gain? Huh? Which? It turns out the book because of air resistance. Is it because the book's more massive? No, because I can take the paper and I go like this. Ah, which accelerates more? Same, same. So the air resistance is a factor. Here's something I want you to try at home. Take a piece of paper and hold it underneath the book, all right? Now, which will have the greater acceleration, the paper or the book? Same, same. I want you to try this at home. Put the paper on top, on top of the book, yeah? And now drop, which will have the greater acceleration? So you have two questions about acceleration to think of. What's the acceleration at the top when I throw an object? And which has the greater acceleration when I drop these two? Those are physics games. One to think about and the other to do. All right? Catch you next time. Physics. Yay. All right?